Now at six, skipping school may be a problem you associate with high school students. But in tonight's Raising the Bar, we found a much younger group isn't showing up. I like how you guys are walking quietly in the hallways. Thank you. Principal James Amitti strides down the hallways of Rex Bell Elementary serve a dual purpose. He's part inspector, part cheerleader. And this just is so amazing to me to see how they're uh, how they're writing at this point. But the one star rating the school near Sahara and Rancho was given by the state means it's among the poorest performing schools in the entire district. And the problems here extend far beyond any book. We're not uh, just reading, writing, arithmetic anymore. We could talk about math and reading scores all you want, but the challenges here at Rex Bell and other schools really are much more basic than that. They begin with just getting the students in the door. Chronic absenteeism is an issue here at Rex Bell, and since this is an elementary school, the problems don't begin with the students, but really they begin with the parents and some issues at home. And absenteeism at elementary schools has caught the attention of new superintendent Jesus Jar. These are adult issues that are, 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 are really challenging for us and affecting our kids. Here are the numbers. Last school year, out of 808 students at Rex Bell, about 169 of them, nearly 21%, were chronically absent, meaning those students didn't even show up for school 10% of the time. So what's being done about it? At Rex Bell, a family court judge now comes once a week to meet with chronically absent kids. The goal, to figure out why they are missing school and also what role their parents play. The reasons vary. There may be uh, transportation issues. You know, maybe they don't have money to fix their car. Whatever the reason, for those parents, Amity says he goes to their homes, warns them their children are in danger of falling behind, and then develops a positive incentive program for the student that is meant to encourage better attendance. Have you seen a difference? Uh, I've seen a difference in some students. It's a little too early, I think, to, to tell. A little too early to tell. Now, Mitty says that parents typically respond well when he stresses to them the problems the kids will face when they fall behind, so that is why he's hopeful yeah. this program is going to have a positive impact. The curriculum goes so fast yes, that does. you have to be there. Well, we need your help to raise the bar on education as part of our commitment. We want community leaders, teachers, parents, and anyone else whose input would be helpful to send us their ideas. So if you have a story idea, send an email to raisingthebar at ktnv.com and be sure to include your name and your phone number.